In the most talked about game in America, Drew has taken on many challenges. She's gone one-on-one -on -one with late night legend, Jimmy Fallon. She has faced off with fearless first lady, Michelle Obama. We're kicking things off with a game that will put taste buds to the test and only one person will be left standing. From those doors, a new challenger shall emerge. Drew is about to go head to head with the one, the only, Chrissy Teigen. And today's host, Ross Matthews. Now, since you're both cookbook authors, I'm going to be asking you food-themed trivia questions. You'll answer at the same time using your whiteboards, which you each have right now. Okay, for every wrong answer, you each have to take a step closer to this box. Now, whoever reaches the last circle first has to eat whatever is under this box. And trust me, <laughs> we've done our research it is both of your worst nightmare. <laughs> is the audience ready to see what's underneath this box? <laughs> Let's take a look. It is goat cheese. <laughs> and every time I say what it is, we'll hear this sound, goat cheese. <laughs> Brimming with stinky, stinky goat cheese. <laughs> Doesn't it look good enough to eat? No. 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 Meanwhile, our audience has a chance to win a not so nasty prize. Chrissy, you are playing for the left side of our oh. audience. Sorry. Oh. Meanwhile, Drew, you are playing for the right side of our audience. Don't oh. worry, I got this. And whoever wins, their side of the audience might just go home with a prize. <laughs> but first, it's time to get serious. Are you both ready to play? Yes. Okay, question number one. True or false, avocados are fruit. Write down your answer on your whiteboard. It's time to reveal your answer at the same time. Go. Chrissy, you say true. Drew, you say true. It is true. Yes. So you both can remain at home ahead. base. Question number two. What is the only fruit with seeds on the outside? Only fruit with seeds on the outside. Here's a hint, it's not Ross Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to reveal your questions right now. Chrissy says strawberry, Drew says strawberry. The answer is strawberry. Yeah. It's time for question number three. What nut is used to make marzipan. Marzipan used in desserts, made with a nut. What nut is it? Okay, let's reveal our answers now. Drew says hazelnut. Chrissy says pistachio. You guys are always in sync, and guess what? You are again, because you're both wrong. <laughs> the answer is almonds. Each of you take a step closer to the goat oh cheese. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Now, here's question number four. What is the name of this fruit? Drew seems to know. She's thinking. It's time to reveal what fruit is this? This fruit angers me. I'm wrong. Go. Chrissy says dragon fruit. You're right. Drew says kiwi. Chrissy. <laughs> Chrissy is right. Drew is very wrong. Here's the next question. What condiment was used as medicine in the 1800s? A very popular condiment. It was used as medicine in the 1800s. They're both writing down their answers, and it's time to reveal them now. Which condiment was used as medicine in the 1800s? Drew, Chrissy, go. Okay, Chrissy, you say mustard. I'm gonna tell you that is incorrect. 
which means you need to take a step closer to the goat's cheese. Now, <laughs> Drew, you wrote down syrup. If you're correct, we have a tie game. If you're wrong, you are the one who's eating the goat cheese. <laughs> the answer is <gasps> ketchup. <laughs> Goat cheese. No, we were so kismet. Do you want me to eat it with you? Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh we'll do it together. Because we, our brains were like on the same oh, level. Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy's gonna do it with her. Oh, How cute. Thank you. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Oh my God. Honestly, I can't. Something maybe. <laughs> it's, uh, is there a word you can use to describe it, Chrissy? It's so oddly tart for <laughs> so early. <laughs> That's a good idea. Drew's <laughs> sucking on a fig. If you'd like that, well, here's the deal. Drew lost. Chrissy lost with her. But guess what? Any, everyone in our audience is going home a winner. <laughs> You're all getting a one hundred dollar gift card Thank from you. the fondue <laughs> restaurant. The that I think can take our pain away, Chrissy. I want to do some couch time with you. Yes. Some girl talk with you. Absolutely. We have the most coveted couch on planet Earth right now. It is the actual one from the Calvin Klein shoot oh with hottie Jeremy gosh. Allen oh. White. People have been... Well, should we do a little girl Let's talking on the infamous yes. couch? All right, here Let's we go. go. We'll be right back. Already, we got the party started in the commercial break. We are back with the incredible Chrissy Teigen, everybody. I am such a fan of your cookbooks, too. Thank you. I think that they were a, a very permission giving mm -hmm. and sort of changing of the industry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Their sexy, fun life lived in them. But it's your flavor profiles and your recipes, like the ground beef stuffed in the cucumber. Yes, yes that's ah! my mom's soup. I know. Um, I'm gonna. My mom actually just moved to Thailand. The and great pepper tea. The great pepper I love Thai her cookbook too. too. She, yeah, her cookbook is so beautiful, so wonderful. But she just a couple weeks ago moved to Thailand, fully moved, and is living her best life. She still has so much energy in her. She loves her team of girlfriends that she has, and she's just flourishing, and I wanted to see that for her. Pepper got her groove Pepper's back. Pepper's getting her groove back, yes. Oh my God. She really is. Yeah, she's a single lady. Uh, my dad has a girlfriend, and so she's out on the prowl. She's on the app, so if anyone comes across her, she is obsessed with being able to show people. She's so proud of Thailand. She loves being a tour guide. You know how White Lotus is filming in Thailand now? I do. She's trying to get like any kind of assistant job on White Lotus. If anyone out there is looking for a translator. Mike White, if you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, this is a weird pivot, but um, okay. Uh, speaking of getting one's groove back, um, I feel like everybody got some groove put into their soul on this like couch with Jeremy Allen White. It reminds me star. of the George Costanza couch. So, this is it. Like, is it? It, it's a vintage couch, and it's it. generated over 35 million views. Um, it generated also $12.7 million in media exposure in just two days. Um, and this couch is being sought after, and it's like we're sitting we're on it. We're sitting on it. I mean, it makes me, like, want to pose. Wait, by the way, how should I pose on this couch? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm an expert. was never my friend. <laughs> I mean, 
is it. This is the only man in my bed. This is all you need. Right? I know I wake up every day with four animals in my bed and I feel so whole. Oh Oh my God. I also have, do you have four dogs? I have two dogs, four cats, a snake, a fish, and... A bearded dragon. A bearded dragon (laughs) named I'm like still down here talking to you. I know, by the way, that felt so (laughs) right and wrong and right. I I was like, I've never done this upside down before. This is new. Looking up at you. (laughs) Your husband came here and sang. I know. To Jeremy. It's the cutest thing. (laughs) With rose petals. And there's Jeremy with rose petals getting (laughs) serenaded by none other than John Legend. He never does that to our bearded dragon, which we don't know the name of anymore. So we don't know if it's a boy or it's a, it, it was a boy. Now it's a girl we found out. So we, now we call her beauty. I don't know. Now does John like, I mean, your husband is one of the greatest living songwriters and such a kind. He is speaking of like Jeremy Allen White and sexy. What is go- He has the hottest chest and he's always exposing it. Oh my it. gosh. It, like, look I at know. him. I know. Oh, he's, he's my bear. He's my baby bear. He's so God. He loves a print now. He just won't won't stop with the pants. When he like gets dressed and like looks in the mirror, does he is he like? Mm-hmm. Oh my! He does the face. He does like this like weird like lip sucking thing that Miles does too now. Like when he looks in. Ever since he started the voice, really, his style really like became poppier and like much much more in your face. And yeah, I find myself going out with him sometimes. I'm like, we know you're John Legend already. Don't have to wear this much print on print on print on print. I'm 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 here for it. He's so nice. He, he was is so really kind, as good and pure as you could imagine a man to be. Like he really is that good. Everyone's like, oh, is he so nice? I'm like, yes, he's nice. He's sweet. He's kind. But he's like brilliant. I hate saying all of this, but his levels of empathy and uh, and and towards for other people and he's just like a like a I don't know like a sponge of like kindness and goodness you seem like such an amazing family so much love he's, it's easy honestly. humor goodness support yeah what is something that you value for longevity we will be right back What is something that you value for longevity? Um, Honestly, I think we're always very thoughtful. If we are arguing about something, he doesn't argue often, honestly. And I think one of our fights is actually that he doesn't fight enough. Like he will, like sometimes, you know, when the passion's there and you want him to get riled up about something and, and it's just not there. But he brings me down to a level where I'm like, okay, I'm being overreactive right now. I'm being a little crazy. I'm a very anxious person. I get very nervous. I'm very tough on myself. Um, and so for someone to come in and be the, you know, the calming force and all of that is really important. So honestly, my only, I, I can't, I don't even have like advice or it's just like I found someone really great. And right now, like the battle, I think our, our biggest battles are just like trying to get our kids to get along together. And like, so that part of it is so fun seeing us grow into parents. Like we were kids when we got together. Now we have so many kids and then seeing him as a dad and seeing him how busy he is and how he will come home from work and play football and they will ask anything of him like, and, and he will be there and he'll do it. And it's a, actually when we had our, we like celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary and in my speech, it it had really driven me crazy that on our wedding day, I, I hadn't written my own vows because I was so nervous. And so I made sure to write my vows. And then I was like, I looked down at his family and I just like graciously thanked them for creating such an incredible being. Is that so corny? No! (laughs) It's amazing. Thank you. Okay, speaking of couples, I was watching the episode of um, your and David Chang's new show. It's so good. It's so good. It really is so wonderful. Chrissy and Dave dine out, and it feels a lot like your cookbooks in the way that it feels really real life. Yes. Oh, we have a clip, actually. Here, take a look. What is this meaty guy? This This is the wise guy. 
It's haphazardly thrown on, clunky as he says. I'll be honest, I don't understand <laughs> at all. By the way, if he explains it to you again next week, it'll be totally different. <laughs> you want to have a slice of that? Have you been eating anything? I know. Will you please enjoy this one with us? Why, oh, am, I, no. why am I ever going to eat a pizza that doesn't have smoked mozzarella on it ever again? <laughs> it's so... And David Chang, he's the best. You always surround yourself in such elevated culinary company. And rightfully Any company, so. really. Do you know what is always the most flattering compliment I get is when someone new meets us or comes into our home, they always say that we are surrounded by really, really good, to the core people, and I love that. And I've known David for 20 years, and being able to go, our first dates were at Momofuku Noodle Bar, oh and my I God. fell in love with him. In and the his East food. Village. Yes, yes. We, we used to live across from the Hells Angels in the East Village, and we would just walk up the street, up First Avenue, and get to sit at the kitchen. It was my first taste of like an open kitchen. Yep. And to be able to, and his flavors that he used, like made me like just so proud to be Asian. And and also like the fusion of flavors that he does. It was just- He changed the was, game too. Yes. He, was he a game is changer. a true, true game, changer. game changer. Yes. Well, your new show is just, just I dine was, out on Chrissy and Dave, dine it's out. too easy. It's so good. Couch confession. Yes. Okay, in honor of Jeremy Allen White, I'm sorry, Douglas. I have to just, you know what? You just stay there. He's all right. So calm. He's like, this is nothing to him. They're, Look at his tongue. They're is all out. hostess based questions, okay. and they happen to be on Perfect. Tidy Whitey's in honor oh my of Jeremy Allen White oh my God. and the couch. Okay. Oh, um, God. Oh. You want to ask each other? Yes. Okay, you go first. What was the last big lie you told? Oh. <laughs> Oh, can you say it? Can I know, isn't it? that, you know, it's funny. Know. Actually, well, it's, I, this is not a really fun answer, but, um, and that's the worst preface I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Buckle up, this isn't gonna be fun. <laughs> my daughter thought she caught me doing something that I used to do, uh -huh. but I've since not done. Uh -huh. And she was like, you did this thing! And I was like, actually, I haven't, and I didn't. <laughs> and I felt so good to be able to not have to lie to her. And it was just a bad habit that I had <laughs> that I finally kicked. And well, good for you. Thank though. you. And I didn't have to lie. She didn't do it. Okay. What's one thing you pretended to like because most people do? Oh gosh. Passion, so many power of influence. Things. One thing I pretended to like. Um, people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, certain people. Um, certain shows. But now, like, I used to be able to, like, yeah, say them, and then then I'll get, like, a text from, like, the director and be like, just, or I'll run into them somewhere, and that's that's hell. I know. Um, it's a dangerous world. Yeah, you it really can't. is. It, the world is small. Yeah, just shut it's up so is small. the message yeah. I'm getting. Yeah, I used to just, I, I, I used to just be able to be like, oh, this show, um, this episode stunk, and no, not anymore. Oh, my gosh. It, uh, the world, the tipping point yeah, happened. Yeah. Now, it, but, and yet, no one else got the memo. It's as hot as oh, hell yeah, out there in the Town Square. Okay. Next question. Um, oh, there's more. I love it. Okay. I'll go. I'll go first. Okay. Uh, does your mind ever wonder during? S oh. Does your mind ever <laughs> wonder if it's during sex? During yes. sex. Yes. Yeah. All the time. Really? Yeah. Where does it go? Anywhere. Um. <laughs> is the door locked? Uh. Um. Uh, oh, is, like, is my spray tan coming off on, like, <laughs> so much. This is, thank you. This is why. <laughs> exactly it. That's exactly it. I, it's been so long since I've had sex. Recently in a yoga class, they were like, and don't think about what you're having for lunch after this. And it, I was literally like, where am I going to go for lunch after this? And I was like, oh, God. Um, okay, what's your question? I have one more. I'm throwing it to you. This is about you. What was your sexual awakening? Oh. Oh, honestly, I just rewatched um, um, the Aerosmith Crazy video. Oh, with Alicia Silverstone and, and uh, Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler, yes. Oh, those and are iconic. When I was watching them, I was thrown back into like, oh my gosh, this is just like so uber hot and beautiful. And they were just like, 
just youngins having a good time. Then there's like this really creepy guy in it. Like if you watch it now, it doesn't exactly hold up to the changing times. Yes. But yes. at the time, I remember watching that video and being like, whew, like this is hot. Mine's Elvis. <laughs> yeah? It's Elvis all the way. Ever since I was little, the second I saw him, that was it for Did me. Did you tell Riley that? And, yeah. um, yes. <laughs> and everything, I, like, I'm so Elvis obsessed. Oh my gosh. And, like, Austin Butler is here in the building and I'm, like, freaking out. Wait, really? Out. Yes! Oh my gosh. Yes! I think he did such an honor. And his co-star, Callum Turner, is here too and I'm so oh excited. Gosh. And I feel like I'm going to start blushing when I talk about Elvis. I mean, you see people like that and you're like, that's an actor. Like, that's a handsome actor, 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 I mean, actor man. And I'm so happy that he was so recognized for it, oh, you know, because yes. he deserves yes. all the attention in the world. Oh, Chrissy Teigen, thank you so much for coming here. Finally, we've been hoping you were coming here since season one. We'll be right back. 